In this tutorial, we will teach you how to make vampire teeth in Photoshop. Over here, we have a free stock photo, which we'll be working on. First of all, let's resize the canvas so that only the face of the model is shown. Next, we will make a folder and name it Adjustment Layers. Now we will add four adjustment layers. Let's start by first adding the black and white adjustment layer. From the presets panel, make sure you choose the maximum black option. With that done, reduce the opacity to 50% and change the blend mode of the layer to overlay. Next, we will add the hue and saturation layer. Over here, we will keep the hue value to plus 26 and saturation to minus 21. With that done, we will add the levels adjustment layer and we'll only change the middle value to 0 0.80. Last of all, we will add the gradient map adjustment layer and choose 373737 for the left side and F6EAD9 for the right side gradient. Make sure the location of the left marker is set to 0 and the right marker to 100. With that done, we will reduce the opacity of the layer to 50% and change the blend mode to hard light. Now we're basically done with the adjustment layers, and it's time to move on to the eyes. For this tutorial, we will be using cat eyes. Over here, we have a free stock photo, and we will be using the polygonal lasso tool to make a selection of the eyes. Once done, copy and paste the selection onto a new layer. Do the same for the other eye as well. Duplicate both the layers and bring them on the original document we were working on. Over here, we will resize the cat eyes and position them on the eyes of the model. With that done, let's zoom in and tweak them a bit. Next, we're going to add a layer mask. After that, let's decrease the opacity of the layer to 50% so that we can see what's behind the image. Next, let's reduce the size of the eyeball some more to fit the eyes of the model. After that, we'll pick up the brush tool, make sure the black color is selected for the foreground, and apply the brush on the sides of the eye to erase it. We can use the eraser tool for this, but there's no going back once the eraser tool is applied. This is a non-destructive way of editing in Photoshop, and in case you want to change something later on, you can always edit the layer mask. We will do the same thing for the other eye as well. Once done, let's increase the opacity of both the layers to 100% and open up the layer style options. Over here, we will first apply the Inner Shadow option. We will keep all the options as it is except the angle. Change the angle to 160 degrees and move to the Color Overlay tab. Over here, we will choose DFCA98 for the Color Fill and change the Blend Mode to Linear Burn. Next, we will move to the Gradient Overlay option change the blend mode to color burn, reduce the opacity to 50%, and change the angle to zero degrees. Once done, we will copy the layer style and paste it on the layer which has the other eye. The only difference here is that we will move to the gradient overlay tab and tick on the checkbox titled reverse. You can change the settings according to the image you are working on. Finally, let's make a new folder and name it eyes. With that done, we will move the two layers in that folder and open up the Layer Style Options window for the folder. Here we will move to the Color Overlay tab. Choose AD8E6F for the Color Fill and change the Blend Mode to Linear Dodge Add. With that done, let's reduce the opacity to 10% and that's it. Now let's change the color of the background. For that, we will add a gradient map adjustment layer. Over here, we will choose 2D2B20 for the left side and DCCEA0 for the right. With that taken care of, change the blend mode of the layer to multiply. Since we want to change the color of the background only, we will enter the layer mask, pick up the brush tool with black color selected for the foreground color, and apply it over the face like so. Notice here that we're leaving out the edges of the face and neck a bit. That's just to add a bit of shadow to the character. With that taken care of, let's start adding effects to the face. For that, duplicate the original layer and hide the rest of the layers. 
Now change the blend mode of the duplicated layer to linear burn and add a layer mask. With that taken care of, we will pick up the brush tool once more and apply black color over the background. Make sure you have the layer mask selected while applying the brush over the layer, otherwise you'll just be adding black color over the canvas. Be careful of the edges. You can increase the hardness of the brush to a 100% to remove the edges completely. Once done, reduce the opacity of the layer to 75% and unhide the rest of the layers. It's important to try different things and use them in your artwork. For example, over here, we will make a selection of the forehead of the cat using the polygonal lasso tool and bring it on the document we're working on. We will manipulate this layer to add effects to the face. For example, let's position the layer below the adjustments layer folder. With that taken care of, we will move the layer towards the bottom of the face and change the blend mode to color burn while reducing the opacity to 30%. Now let's duplicate the layer and position it towards the forehead like so. Next, we will add layer masks to both the layers and use the brush tool to apply black color over the parts which we want to remove. Since we have made a selection with feather set to zero, the selection has a few sharp edges, for example, over here. For that, we will use the brush tool, set the hardness to 0% and apply the brush so as to remove the sharp edges which are appearing on the face. Lastly, let's select the duplicated background layer, move to the filter menu, go to sharpen and select the smart sharpen option. Over here, we will basically play with the values of amount and radius to sharpen the face. You can play around with different values over here, but for this video, the amount was kept to 246 and the radius was set to 2.1. So far, this is what we have come up with. Now it's time to add the vampire teeth. For that, we will zoom in on the teeth, pick up the polygonal lasso tool, and make a selection of this tooth over here like so. With that done, let's copy and paste the selection onto a new layer. With that taken care of, we will increase the size of the tooth horizontally. After that, we will add a layer mask to the new layer and apply black color using the brush tool to shape this into a vampire tooth. Make sure the hardness is set to 100% and carefully apply the brush around the tooth. Lastly, press Ctrl T to activate the transform tool. Rotate and position the tooth accordingly. You will have to do the same thing for the other tooth as well. Moving on, now let's add blood splash images to the document. For that, we will first remove the white background from this layer. For that, move to the select menu and click on the color range option. Over here, we will select white color from the background and click on the add to selection button. Now we will keep selecting white color from different parts of the canvas to make the selection more clear. Once done, simply click on OK and the selection will be made. With that done, simply hit delete and only the splash effect will remain. Now duplicate the layer and bring it on the document we're currently working on. Now we will position the layer so that a particular splash that we want should appear on the face. With that done, simply change the blend mode to overlay. You can duplicate the layer and use different splashes to cover up the face. At the end, we will add layer masks to all the splash layers and remove the unnecessary part using the brush tool and applying black color over the layer masks. You can play around with different ideas, resize the splashes, and work with different effects. At the end, this is what we came up with. Here's the original image, and this is what it looks like after adding the effects. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.